how are you all hope you all are fine and doing well so this is the second part of our first chapter that is the nutrition in plants in the previous classes we have studied about the introduction components of food that is the carbohydrate protein fat vitamin minerals these all things we have studied and we have also studied about the nutrients then the modes of nutrients that is the autotrophic and heterotrophic in autotrophic mode of nutrition we have studied that all the green plants are autotrophic and all the non green plants are heterotrophic green plants can make their own food so they are coming in this category of autotrophic and they can make their foods by the simple substances like carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll and that process is known as photosynthesis so now in this video we will talk about in detail about the photosynthesis so without any further delay let's get started okay students so now we will see about the photosynthesis now what is photosynthesis by the name itself you can see photo and synthesis they are the two words combined photo photo means light photo means light and synthesis means combining combination of light is the meaning of photosynthesis and what is there in photosynthesis it is a process of food making for the plants now what happens you can see here i have made the diagram it is a normal plant you can see this is the stem these are the leaves leaves are green in color most of the time you have seen the stems are also green in color and most of the time it is brown in color also and this is the sun now you can see i am explaining you the process what happens in the process of photosynthesis this is sun it is having the radiations now this radiations comes and falls over the this green leaves and this green leaves are as we know they are green in color because of the which pigment chlorophyll because of the pigment that is chlorophyll which is already present in the plant and that is one of the most important factor for the process of photosynthesis now as the radiations or the sunlight is falling in the green leaves and in our atmosphere there is a carbon dioxide present so this carbon dioxide is also taken up by the leaves that i will tell you how it takes the carbon dioxide it takes the carbon dioxide through the stomata that we will discuss later so this chlorophyll is already present in the leaves and the leaves also takes the carbon dioxide which is present in our atmosphere and they take the h2 that is water from the roots of the plant so which all things we had we had carbon dioxide co2 plus we had water h2 and in the presence of which all things sunlight and chlorophyll so we can write here sunlight and chlorophyll photosynthesis is that process in which plants prepare its own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water and in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to make what its food what is that food c6 h12 o6 this is what this is glucose and oxygen that is o2 so till now you have understood that photosynthesis is that process in which photo means light and synthesis means combining combining of light with the green leaves that prepares the food for the plant how it happens this green leaves are already having the chlorophyll which is the green pigment and in that green pigment whenever the sunlight falls it also accepts the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere it also takes hydro oh, sorry water from the soil and it prepares its food that is a glucose how it combines it uh, photosynthesis takes place with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll for the preparation of glucose and it eliminates oxygen as a by product as we all know plant takes carbon dioxide that is only the process plant takes carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen understood this much now we will see how it is represented okay so now we will see how photosynthesis is represented now you, you can see here photosynthesis is represented as carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of whenever we write something up or down below the arrow it is told in the presence of in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it produces glucose and gives out oxygen and the equation of photosynthesis we can write this is the most important equation this is going to be useful for you for the higher educations also equation of photosynthesis is 
6 CO2 plus 6 H2O2. Now why we are writing 6? 6 is a molecule of carbon dioxide, 6 molecule of water. This 6, 6 molecules of carbon dioxide and water is combined together in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to form a one molecule of glucose that is C6H12O6. This is the uh, formula of glucose plus it eliminates 6 molecule of oxygen. So this is all about the equation of photosynthesis. Now we will see where photosynthesis occurs in plant, the site of photosynthesis. Now we can see photosynthesis, where does it occur? The site for photosynthesis. Now you can see photosynthesis mainly occurs in leaves. So all the raw materials must reach to the leaf. As we have already discussed when we have seen the diagram that photosynthesis occurs in the green plants and green plants has green leaves and in that green leaf the main factor is the presence of chlorophyll. Wherever in plant the chlorophyll is present it may be in the leaf, it may be in the green stem, it may be in the green branches or it may be in the uh, cactus plant also. You may have seen the cactus plant it is the succulents they are green in color so in that succulents also they are, there is a presence of chlorophyll and because of the presence of that chlorophyll the photosynthesis may occur. So photosynthesis mainly occurs in the leaf. So all the raw materials must reach to the leaf that we have already seen how all the raw materials reach to the leaf that the radiations from the sun directly falls into the wider or the smaller leaves also it directly falls in it and the carbon dioxide is absorbed by the leaves water goes from the root to the leaves and the chlorophyll is already present in that so by this way the photosynthesis occurs in the green part of the plant mostly it is leaf and it may also occur in the stem and the green branches also now we will see what all are the conditions necessary for the photosynthesis okay students so now we will talk about the conditions necessary for photosynthesis till now we have seen we have discussed about the what all things happens in photosynthesis and what is the site for photosynthesis now the next topic is what are the conditions necessary for photosynthesis so here i have written all the five important conditions for photosynthesis that is first one is chlorophyll second is sunlight third is carbon dioxide then stomata and water these five are the most important factors or the conditions which is most or we can say very important for the photosynthesis to occur. If there will be no chlorophyll, photosynthesis will not occur. Or else we can say if there is if there is any of the conditions are missing, the photosynthesis will not occur. So this all five are most important for the photosynthesis to occur. Now we will see each one in detail. First one is chlorophyll. So what is chlorophyll? As we have already discussed, chlorophyll is a green pigment which provides green color to the plant or we can say green leaves where it is present it is present mostly on the upper surface of the leaf it is found it is found mostly on the upper surface of the leaf and chlorophyll as it is a pigment it should also be present in some of the cell so what is that cell that cell is known as chloroplast chlorophyll is present in a cell known as chloroplast it is found mostly on the upper surface of the leaf. Suppose this is the leaf. It is found mostly on the upper surface of the leaf and it is present on a cell known as chloroplast. It helps in the uh, occurring of photosynthesis. Next is sunlight. We have seen already that sunlight is also one of the most important factor for the photosynthesis to occur. This sunlight is having a energy. This sunlight is having an energy which when falls on leaf when the sunlight falls on leaf this chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight and that absorption of sunlight energy helps the carbon dioxide to helps the carbon dioxide to combine with chlorophyll and with water this sunlight energy helps the carbon dioxide to combine with chlorophyll and water for the production of glucose that is C6H12O6 as you know carbon dioxide is most important so now we will discuss about the carbon dioxide that is CO2 carbon dioxide as we know it is present in our atmosphere and it is absorbed by the leaf carbon dioxide is absorbed by the leaf how it is absorbed through stomata 
it is absorbed through stomata now what is stomata stomata is the small openings present on the under side of the leaves stomatas are the small openings or you can also say pores stomatas are the small openings or pores which is present on the under side of the leaf means at the lower side of the leaf it is present in more quantity they are present everywhere but more it is present on the under side of the leaf and this stomata is surrounded by guard cells now we we'll talk about stomata this stomata is surrounded by guard cells these guard cells are having a bean like structure and this is known as stomata and this stomata when there is a sunlight whenever there is a sunlight it opens during the day time the stomata opens and during the night time it closes during the day time it opens and during the night time it closes so what happens with the opening and closing of stomata whenever the stomata opens it takes carbon dioxide in and as soon as it takes carbon dioxide in there is a sunlight also as we are saying that stomata opens only during the day time so during the day time there is a sunlight coming and as soon as the stomata opens there is a carbon dioxide also chlorophyll is already present the plants are taking water from the roots so all the things are combining together to form a photosynthesis so we can say photosynthesis is only formed during the day time because sunlight is there during the sunlight the uh, stomata opens it receives carbon dioxide from the atmosphere chlorophyll and water is already present in the presence of sunlight they forms the photosynthesis or they forms the glucose now next is water as you all know water is the most important it is absorbed by the plant through roots and through roots till the other part of the plant there is a pipe like structure known as xylem there is a pipe like structure known as xylem through that xylem the water is absorbed through the roots and goes to the leaves for the production of glucose by the process of photosynthesis so this was all about the conditions necessary for photosynthesis hope you have understood all these things about this class okay students so in this video we have discussed about what all things happens in photosynthesis what is the site for photosynthesis what are the conditions necessary for photosynthesis and all the five conditions that is chlorophyll and your uh, sunlight stomata water and carbon dioxide that all things we have already discussed hope you all have understood about this now it is a time for some questions and homeworks this you have to copy down write down and you have to reply me in the message or you can reply me in the picture also so these are some questions the first question is define photosynthesis and write its equation you have to define the photosynthesis and you have to write the equation of that now and the se second question is what is the main site and conditions necessary for photosynthesis you have to write what is the main site the various sites what we have discussed and also you have to write the various conditions necessary for photosynthesis for in this one you have to only write the names of the conditions which is necessary you don't have to describe it and in the third question describe in detail about the opening and closing of stomata this you have to describe along with the diagram also you can draw you have to describe in full detail what happens during the day time what happens during the night time how the stomata opens how the stomata closes what happens when the stomata is open what happens when the stomata is closed these are things we have to describe and you have to reply me so hope you all have understood about this chapter this was all about the today's video now we'll meet in the next video thank you